Alrighty, what's up guys? Single player Nacho here, and we're back with another creepy lore video. This time on the trickster from Dead by Daylight. Hands down the sexiest simp creator 3000 and the most love it or hate it character in the game. This guy is a musician from hell and the sounds that inspire him are those of his dying victims, which he uses in his own records. That's pretty creative. Jiwoon, and good on you for recycling. And the trickster's victims span from diehard fans, no pun intended, or upcoming artists looking for Jiwoon's advice. He took all these poor bastards backstage and chop chopped them. Bloodshed and torturous melodies filled the trickster's infatuation with himself and obsession with his godly looks, which all made him go completely insane. So let's take a closer look at the trickster and see what the fuss is all about. He has this large yellow pimp coat, which is like a huge red flag. I don't know how any of his victims suspected something was up with this guy. And Jiwoon's body is plastered with blood. Interestingly though, these splotches look like bullet wounds, but it's more traditional blood spatter from beating the shit out of people. And the single most intriguing visual aspect of the trickster. You take a closer look at his eyes, and there's tears. I might be going out on a limb here, but I believe Jiwoon gets emotional when he hears the dying breaths and sounds of his victims and it makes him cry. It's pretty screwed up, but that's a really cool attention to detail right there. So where did it all begin? Is there a point in time in Jiwoon's story that created this volatile personality? And is there something there that helps us better understand Jiwoon's obsession? Flashing lights. The screams of a crazed audience. They all yelled in unison, Ji Woon. On stage, the trickster was in love with being loved by millions and millions of fans, but something began bothering him. A tug at his ear, a different sound from the crowd, words, the names of his other bandmates. The crowd's love began being split into four different people and Jiwoon shuddered at the idea of not being the center of attention. Violent, murderous thoughts surged through Jiwoon's mind. There just wasn't enough love to be split. He wanted it all. He quickly began seeing his bandmates as a problem. Just like any other day, no spin was hard at work at the studio. Upon arriving, Jiwoon smells burning flesh. He enters the lobby and it is filled with black smoke. Cries are heard throughout the building. Jiwoon rushes inside the studio, through the glass encasement, sees his band members burning, their flesh slowly melting away as they bang on the walls and the door, desperately trying to move these gigantic speakers that were in front of the exit. Though their weakened and burned limbs barely gave them any strength to do so. It was Ji Woon's time to put away all of the bitterness, the love-hate relationship with his band members. He had to save them, but tears start flowing down Ji Woon's face. His bandmates' voices, their cries for help. It was a beautiful sound to Ji Woon. The more they cried, the less it gave Jiwoon reason to unblock the exit. He lets go of the fallen speakers, backs off and smiles as all his bandmates <laughs> rot in a flame-filled grave. The somber headlines commemorated the four members of No Spin, young, talented, and they would never meet their potential. The headlines also painted Jiwoon in a different light. The hero, the single band member that escaped the harsh flames that burned down their studio. So people came to him, they searched for Jiwoon to shelter him or to seek advice. People with good hearts and good intentions. Unfortunately, Ji Woon's was clearly the opposite. Ji Woon's fascination with struggling artists gave him an idea. To him, these people had talent, but the emotion just wasn't there. 
The emotion must be brought out, forcefully, if it has to. One violent swing of his bat is all it took to knock out this poor college music student who thought he trusted the trickster. And the trickster ties the student up, puts a rag in his mouth, and starts desecrating the student's entire body. Limb by limb, the trickster dissects this poor student, searching for the perfect sound. The trickster, in his newly found talent, makes sure to go about this slowly. A very slow and torturous death for this young, up-and-coming, lost soul. That rag in the student's mouth kept everything silent, so the trickster did not find the perfect sound. He needed a more quiet place, something more soundproof, to take his victims in. What did the trickster choose? An abandoned building. This empty, condemned place would be filled with screams, gorgeous melodies out of the mouths of the trickster's victims. One by one, he would bring them in, targeted each and every little nerve to find the perfect note. It was a very bloody and violent ordeal. The trickster even set up a makeshift studio to record these sounds, make sure he got every last one. The trickster even became somewhat of an anatomy expert, researching which was the most pain-inducing part of the body that can be stabbed. The quadratus lumborum, the lower ab section, is what Jiwoon loved poking. For that specific part of the body brought out the most gorgeous sound out of the tortured victim. It brought tears to Ji Woon's eyes. He had to implement these sounds into his upcoming solo album. But his music work was delayed because of his newly found art project. The various interesting designs, sculptures, he left behind through his killings. The police didn't know where to begin. His little hints included putting a mink boa, a high-fashioned scarf, around a victim's ripped throat. In another instance, he completely removed every single tooth out of a man's mouth. And this is probably the craziest kill out of Ji Woon's career. A fan that begged and begged for Ji Woon's attention kind of pissed him off. Interesting because this was a replicated behavior that Ji Woon exhibited. He was the one that constantly needed attention. So he saw this fan also displaying that. So he decided to kill her very viciously. He took out her eyeballs placed diamonds in them, and slashed words across her chest. I have seen God. Extremely disturbing. But the sounds of his dying victims provided a very human touch, a feel, to Ji Woon's new solo project. Unfortunately, a lot of people weren't having it, including Mighty One Entertainment. The music was just a little bit too raw for their more corporate taste. They planned to either let Ji Woon go, or he would have to abide by their rules and have a more mainstream sound to him. This enraged the trickster to no end. It was laughable, painful to hear. He was obsessed with his more holistic approach to music. In other words, the sounds of torture. Mighty One Entertainment gave Ji Woon three months to prepare a very private show. This was the trickster's last shot to please Mighty One Entertainment or to become a failed lost artist forever. Dozens were in attendance, including Yun Jin Lee. They all gawked and laughed at Ji Woon's recent antics, his music too shallow, too emotional, and behind the curtain, the trickster heard every last bit of it. The trickster arrives to the stage, microphone at hand, and before he even started singing, smoke fills the entire audience. They cough and cough until all of the Mighty One Entertainment board members are unconscious. Ji Woon looks around and laughs. He was the one that set nitrous oxide to fill the entire stage. He was the one in control of his own destiny and his own sound. Using his sharpest knife, 
targeting the most painful nerve endings. He slashed all of the audience members down to an unrecognizable mush. Though they were somewhat numb because of the nitrous oxide, they still cried out for their mothers, their family. They begged Ji Woon to stop the violence. And this was dozens of Mighty One Entertainment board members. Maybe even more than dozens. The entire concert hall, the floor filled with puddles of blood, the walls lined with a red goo. All of their sounds in unison provided a beautiful orchestra piece in the eyes of Ji Woon. This was his last act. This was his masterpiece. All of the emotion through their dead gurgling sounds. It was perfect. And the last victim, Yoon Jin, still alive. They locked eyes with each other, though the trickster could have let her go. After all, she was the one that gave him all of this fame and opportunity to explore his brutal side. He begins making his way towards her. He smiles, and then a blinding fog surrounds the trickster, and he disappears, never to be seen again. What was left behind? An enormous bloodbath that police would question for decades. A mystery never to be solved. Who killed all of these people? These powerful suits. Who was the one behind these art-like death scenes? It was all one man, obsessed with a human approach to music, obsessed with love for himself. The emotional resonance needed to cater to Ji Woon Hak's ego was larger than life. In fact, larger than many lives. Regardless, the mysterious disappearance of the trickster, his final solo project, filled with the death sounds of his own victims. And these records would be played over and over again, streamed by his adoring fans. Little did they know, they easily could have participated in record producing. Not intentionally, of course. Ji Woon Hak's brutal melodies would fill the minds of music fans. These tracks were as timeless as the lives they cost to produce. <laughs> Well, that was a beautifully bloody tale, too wild for radio stations. Now it's time to take a look at some items and stuff that deepen the trickster's lore. First up is the Melodious Murder, a little USB thumb drive, which files contain death cries of various fans and people. The description states an audio file of a victim's crisp, clear shriek as a blade opened her up. Jiwoon incorporated the sound into one of his more popular tracks. Of course, we would never guess that. I mean, what does that even sound like? A cat with diarrhea? A clear shriek? What is that? How <laughs> is that an enjoyable melody? I wonder. Still, super demented. And could you imagine finding this, this little USB drive? Plugging it into your PC, and it's just a bunch of screams. You throw that shit and you burn it. Fast. Next up are some diamond cufflinks. These diamonds were implanted in the eyeless victim that was brutalized by Jiwoon, the trickster. This was that one fan that was super attention craving, begged for a meetup backstage, and well, she got that meetup a little bit more than just an autograph. A nice chest tattoo, courtesy of not a tattoo artist, the trickster. Here's what the description states. Cufflinks gouged into the eyes of a Sasayang fan who made the mistake of stalking Ji Woon, rubbing off the blood. There's so much to be seen in the glitter. Yuck. And the quote states, Shh, you don't have to see your blood anymore. What was this victim screaming? Please leave my blood alone. And then Ji Woon, real bougie of him to leave behind diamonds on his victims. Great donation. And the final item we're looking at is the iridescent photo card. The photo card, of course, is a gigantic mugshot of the trickster. And this perfectly entails how egotistical, self-centered this man is. The quote states, it's okay, scream my name. Let me hear everything the pain awakens. Ji Woon Hak. It's like a ritualistic chant that the trickster shot out as he maimed and tortured his victims. No big deal. Again though, perfectly explains how me, me, me Ji Woon is and how little regard he had for his victims. And now it's time to share some of my personal opinions on the trickster's lore 
his story, his arc, his goddamn plastic abs, everything. How did this all begin? Well, you just have to blame the parents here. Unfortunately for Ji Woon, it seems like his father was the most biggest influence in his life. I actually don't see any mention of his mother, which can explain a certain detachment, an emotional detachment that Ji Woon has, and why he's so fucked up. Of course, I'm talking about a psychopath, not a regular person. And his father was just as crazy as Ji Woon was turning into. This was a failed artist. When Ji Woon's father was young, of course, he wanted to become famous. Didn't work out. I think the reason was Ji Woon, and so you hear a lot of these types of stories where the failed father pushes, drives their sons, their daughters, to the point of losing their mental stability to become more than they were, like an old glory type thing. This was just one of those last straws that was bent towards Ji Woon's violence and ultimately what led to him killing a bunch of people. But I think the biggest hole here or mystery is where was that single identifying point to where Ji Woon became violent. I don't see it because it just jumps into Ji Woon Hack just dissecting victims. There's no in between. You have this crazy schedule to train to become a product of a record company. He lets his band members die. And then it jumps from that to defacing people. That's the only thing I'm missing here and why I would question the intention of Ji Woon overall. But crazy is crazy. So maybe it doesn't need an explanation. Regardless, that was the Trickster's lore. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for all the support. I really appreciate it. Comment down below what you thought of Ji Woon's story, what you would change. <laughs> I'm sure most of you guys would change the character all together. But I think we can wait for a few more tomes archives to see how this guy develops. I am interested, I'll say that much, and optimistic. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more horror, lore, lists, and mysteries. If you'd like to support the channel any further, check out the merch. There's a little sweatshirt, t-shirt, and sticker, little nacho sticker in there. It's really cute. And check out the second channel, where I play a bunch of horror games that are, well, not good. <laughs> and I act like an idiot the entire time. Links for both of these things will be in the description. Again, guys, thank you all so much. Have an awesome rest of your day, and as always, stay single.